Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Firearms of America and today I am extremely excited because I have another pair of Solomon boots to review and today we have Quest 4D3 GTX boots. Now I wanted to get my hands on these boots for quite some time and finally I have them in front of me. So let me tell you if you are in a rush, if you can afford these boots and you're looking at them, get them absolutely amazing boots money well spent the only thing i wanted to mention is that solomon they do have two other types of similar boots that you might like a little bit more it really depends on the preference for example they have the quest prime gtx which is very similar to this ones uh which are a little bit lighter and they actually have the Sensifit, which is the special technology basically that makes the boot wrap around your foot. It feels very nice. But here's the thing. To be honest, I, I, I was tricked to think that these boots actually have that Sensifit as well because they do create that wrap around feeling around your foot. At the end of the day, it really comes down to the preference. But my advice to you, give it a shot. Try the other ones. Try this ones and see which ones you like more. Okay, so let's get into the review now of these Quest for D3 GTX. So this is special review for our Ultimate Survival Boots section. So we're going to be judging on several different criteria. The very first one is walking, running, length of comfort, length of wearing. Overall, the comfort levels, basically. So to test this... Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hey guys, today we're looking at these Elk Tracker 1000 gram Fincillates, stock number 860. Got a good show for you, stay tuned. All right guys, so uh, I'll kick this off first uh, with a little bit of backstory. So coming into the end of the year, I decided it's time to invest in a pair of boots and I decided to go with these. These are the 1000 gram insulated Irish Setter Elk Trackers uh, 860. Super warm, they're awesome. Uh, you don't need thick socks with these. Bring them, obviously, but uh, compared to those Red Wings, they are night and day. They are so warm and comfortable. They're absolutely awesome, but nice thick lugged sole. Come with these really nice, heavy laces. Uh, I'm really enjoying them. Uh, got a tongue protector, so you can really get pressure on your foot here without having to worry about getting uh, pressure pain on your foot because it gives you that extra layer of uh, leather. Uh, obviously, these eyes are the ones I was talking about in the previous video where they're two round pieces crept together instead of the ones that go through and they kind of star out. Uh, so these are made in China. <coughs> Boo, yeah. But I will say they're they're really well made for being made in China. Uh, obviously all the materials are probably from US so it's uh, someone over there stitching them together. Uh, you got triple stitching everywhere that wraps around your foot. And everything above going into your ankle you got double stitching uh, triple stitching on the bottom of your pull tab here and on the cuff for your leg uh, in terms of eyelets i think these do pull through a little bit better than the red wing eyelets uh, the way the lace can tighten up further down when you're tightening up your boots these clasps or the speed hooks way better than the Red Wing ones. The Red Wing ones are just a little bit too small that I miss them half the time when I'm going to lace up quickly. These ones are nice and chunky so they got that extra little surface area to grab or whatever. Uh, and then obviously they t that's the Red Wing Elk Tracker. Uh, stay tuned everyone. Have a good day. Welcome to Boot Spy. My name's William. Today I'm talking about the Thorough Good Mock Toe. I'm going to discuss the leather quality, sole quality, fit and sizing. This is the 814 4200 in the tobacco leather. This That's the model number. This is Thorough Good's most popular option. This is a six inch boot uh, and this does not have a safety toe 
but there are six inch versions, eight inch versions, and then versions with a composite toe and also versions with a steel toe. But again, we're doing the 814 4200 tobacco leather. That is the most popular version. No safety toe, six inches, bada bing, bada boom. The Thoroughgood mock toe is Thoroughgood's most popular boot. This is why they're known. This is why people know the name Thoroughgood. They are made in the USA, as you can tell by this tiny nylon flag. Uh, and you also get some nice branding right on the back heel. But basically, this is pretty ubiquitous on any work site, any construction site. If you go there, there's at least one guy wearing a pair of Thoroughgood mock toes. Checking out the style, this is a pretty chunky boot. Now it is much less slim and contoured than the Red Wing Classic Mach. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time, put your best boot forward. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to today. We're doing another review. This is Irish Setter Vapor Tech. These are the Vapor Track from Irish Setter. Now, if you are in a rush uh, and don't have time to watch the whole review, let me tell you, great boots buy them uh i am actually very fond of the company who uh makes these boots and irish setter is just a part of their series but the company who makes them is actually red wing shoes and i did have uh i do have actually a personal story about having red wing boots i had the work boots from them uh i had them for about two years okay two years obviously the warranty was already gone and everything uh, I only wore them about three or four times and the last time I wore them it was a wet situation and they were actually leaking. They were supposed to be waterproof but water somehow got in. So I contacted Red Wing Shoes and they offered me, it was out of warranty, but they offered me nevertheless to replace them and whenever I didn't actually find whatever I wanted they actually refunded me the full amount that I spent on buying the boots, which is pretty crazy. That just shows how much the company really cares. So Red Wing, definitely a great company. Okay, so this is the Irish Setter from Red Wing, uh, Vapor Track. As, like I said, this is this ultimate survival boot review and basically what we're doing is we're gonna be judging it on different, eight different uh, criteria. So the very first one is gonna be walking, running, length, Comfort. The second one is going to be stuff proof. How many different things this boot is proof. Number three is quality. Number four is sole grip slip resistance. Uh, the next one is going to be temperature. Number six is going to be longevity. How long they will last. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Irish Setter brand Elk Tracker 880 hunting boot. Okay, let's take a look at the boot's features from bottom to top. Starting out with the sole. This is the Irish Setter Bullseye Air Bob sole, deeply lugged. It's got some uh, very uh, aggressive patterns here in the lugs. One thing I'm a little concerned about, and we'll see this uh, when we take a look at the boot after some use, is I'm a little worried that with the depths of these lugs, we might get some uh, dirt buildup in there, but that remains to be seen. Overall though, looks like a really solid sole. Uh, I've got a layer of cork right in here. Uh, the welt is a Goodyear welt with uh, stitching through to the sole. So far it looks like the stitching is done really well. I'm impressed with the quality of that. Um, the boot is entirely waterproof. Uh, we'll do some testing on that as well. I will wind up uh, waterproofing these with some snow seal. Uh, and then moving along, the triple seam along pretty much the whole stitching of the boot looks really solid, looks well done. It should hold up really well. Uh, you can see the tag here that there is Gore-Tex on the inside and that helps with the waterproofing. A little bit on the uh, eyelets and lace hooks. They are, they look pretty solid. Uh, they are branded. So each of the eyelets says Irish Setter and each of the lace hooks has the uh, icon of the Irish Setter dog, which is a really nice uh, design detail touch. Uh, the leather is uh, kind of a darker brown leather throughout here, the heel and across the laces, and then on the infill here, it's a little bit more of a textured brown leather, uh, a little bit redder in those areas, just a really nice look. Now let's unlace these and take a look at the inside of the boot.
Okay, now one thing about this boot, and one of the reasons that I bought it, it's a 12 inch boot, meaning the uh, from bottom to top, it's about 12 inches high. Great boot, I'm glad I got them, and uh, thanks for watching.